Sigma and I want to show you just uh, another way how to make a Rubik's Cube in 3D Studio Max. It's just another technique that does not involve any controller constraints and so on. It's just a simpler and more robust and a generic way. For, it, for example, it would work with any type of the Rubik's Cube whenever it has three side of three or four or five or whatever. We will just show you. It's simple. First I will make a small cube. Make it look a bit more rounded. Assign some material I've already got here. Now I will assign a different material for each of uh, the faces. Simple.
cubes it looks almost okay but some motion is a uh, kind of stiff and it's a problem because of this DCB motion let, let me show you if I select one sub cube and go to the motion you see that the, the, this is a it's easy in and is out graph and it's curved uh, and it's not what I want to what I want to is uh, to have it like a strange line by selecting tension is 50 but wait I don't want to make it for every sub cube for every frame it's bit so there was another way I wrote a small simple script that work uh, like this you select every cube go to max script, open script and open this TCB set tension script that I wrote uh, you can uh, download it from the link uh, here in YouTube the info section now this is really simple script what it does it runs for all cubes on all keyframes and just set uh, their tension to 50 uh, not that there is a 1, 2, 6 so if you uh, here I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 keyframes and if you got the different number, just change this number here. And afterward, uh, hit fi File, Evaluate All. And now, if you choose any cube, you see that his tension is 50. And his uh, curve is nice and uh, straight. Now, if I hit the animation, it works perfectly. Uh, for some reason, I rotated these uh, two rows at once, but it doesn't. That's all. Here it goes. Happy cube making.